Hi everybody, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the Trillions of Triangles pattern. So this was a pattern that was free on Red Heart's website for a very long time. I designed this back in 2005, but people have been having a hard time finding it um, lately. And so I thought I'll just demonstrate it for you. So I have, here's the original blanket in my house, the old house from gosh, 18 years ago is when I designed this. Well, it was 2005. And there's a couple different configurations of triangles that I was putting together. And you can see it makes this really cool optical illusion of a hexagon when you put the triangles together. But there's lots of different ways that you can lay out the triangles to make different effects. And it's totally up to you how you do it. This is how I designed it, where I made all the triangles and then I just put them around on a paper or on the uh, on a sheet on the floor to see which design I liked the best before I sewed, or I'm sorry, crocheted them all together. Here's a solid color one, like in the blanket. And here is a multicolored one that I made so that you could see the different rows. Let's get started. I have an eye size hook and I have a couple colors of Bravo worsted. The original was in Red Heart Super Saver, but I have some Bravo worsted. There's a link in the description below for this yarn if you are interested. And so what we're gonna do is take a yarn, a smooth kind of yarn and this is 100% acrylic, and I have an eye size hook. We're gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is actually a very easy pattern, so you will be feeling very relaxed, I think. Relaxed, and it's a valuable use of your time. So we will slip stitch in the eighth chain from the hook to form a ring. Now we're going to chain one, two, three, which is the first double crochet, and we're gonna place four more in the ring so that we have five, if that beginning chain three counts as the first stitch. So I'm just placing some stitches in the ring. I'll have five. This is a very easy pattern. I think you'll see in a few minutes just how easy this is and how it makes spectacular results from a very meditative and easy, um, and easy to memorize plan. So one, two, three, we're chaining to make the first corner of the triangle. Now the uh, triangle is of course three corners, so we will repeat this a few more times so that we get three equal sides and three equal corners. So we're doing five double crochets. Please uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more crochet content. Please like this video if you are um, happy about seeing a triangle pattern. Little knot here. Let's get this undone. Okay. So we're placing five double crochets on each side. One, two, three, four, five. We're chaining one, two, three for the corners. And the remaining side is five double crochets. So you guys might know that I'm known for afghans. I love afghans. I think this, uh, the best use of this triangle is an afghan. You could continue to make it bigger and bigger and make it a shawl, but I feel like it's not the right proportion. I like shawls that are deeper of a, or of a shallower of a triangle with longer sides. And also this makes a very thick fabric, very spongy and um, stretchy, which is wonderful for a blanket, but maybe not so great for a shawl. One, two, three for the last corner. We're going to slip stitch in the top of the beginning, chain three to finish round one. So we've now done the purple section of this multicolored triangle. Now this is interesting here. So I've got my, I'm gonna pull it tight with my little tail a little bit, even though I chained eight, I'm gonna pull it a little tighter. I'm going to chain one and make my front post double crochet around that chain three, beginning chain three. So we're gonna start with a front post double crochet. That chain one is gonna disappear behind the stitch and become nothing. Oh, look, there's a flaw in my yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. I like to cut before and after the knot and then keep going with the new yarn. So I'm going to pull back on that last yarn over and pull through and just change yarn right there, cutting the knot out. 
yarn over and pull through with the new yarn. So there's a front post double crochet around the first stitch. We're gonna back post double crochet around the next stitch. And we're gonna alternate this front and back along the side. So now we'll do a front post double crochet around the next double crochet and a back post double crochet around the next. And that is what makes this a reversible pattern. So get this last front double crochet. So on each side, we're starting with the front post double crochet and ending with the front post double crochet. So it's going to be odd sizes. Now I'm going to chain, or I'm sorry, double crochet two in the corner. The corners are all going to be double crochet two then chain three and this yarn is just fine okay it's just it just grabbed onto itself is all it's not another knot so chain one two three and two more double crochets in that chain three corner space so in the corner space is two double crochets three chains two double crochets see there it is between my thumbs all in that chain three corner space now it's time to do the next side and we will, again, always start a side with a front post double crochet and back post double crochet around the next one. And so because we have front and back post double crochets alternating, it really is a very reversible pattern. So it looks very, very similar on the front as it does on the back. Okay, yay, love that. Because of the front post double crochets, I feel like this pattern uses a ton of yarn, which is fantastic for a scrap blanket. You can really go crazy with all the different colors and have it be a real kaleidoscope effect. You can use up a bunch of your stash and um, it would be really gorgeous. So now that we've come to the corner again, I'm double crocheted twice in the corner. I'll chain three, one, two, three and double, uh, two double crochets in the same corner. Okay, so I did not change color. I do prefer this um, triangle to be all one color, mostly because I sometimes get tired of weaving it in. So <laughs> and so it's easiest, and you can still make amazing color work with, um, this is actually three different shades of blue, I think you might be able to tell. You can do amazing color work just doing one color per triangle rather than changing color every triangle so or every row. So if you change color every row like this, I think it is really beautiful. But when you put a whole, whole bunch of these all together, I don't know if it would be too busy. One way to test that is to take a photo and then on a collage app, multiply it a gazillion times and kind of move it around on like a Photoshop or a pic collage or some other kind of um, photo editing tool. I actually, here I'll give you a little, little heads up. I actually years ago, back before all that editing silly stuff, I actually photocopied it. I took a photo and photocopied it on my copy machine and printed out a gazillion of them cut them all out <laughs> and then I played with them by moving the pieces of paper around to see the configuration of where I wanted them to go. So you could always go cold old school like this as well if you and then you only have to make one of each color and just photograph it a bunch of times or um, copy it a bunch of times and then you can play with it and really move it around and see how you want things laid out before you start crocheting it all together. So we'll slip stitch in the top of the first front post double crochet to finish the round. We now have two rounds. So we now have the purple and the gray. So I think you're gonna see here that this is so easy and fun. So again, chain one and then front post double crochet around the first front post double crochet of the row and skip that beginning chain one does not count as anything back post double crochet around the next one. And I did kind of weave in the ends as I went along, front post double crochet around the next one. You could totally keep going with this square, or I'm sorry, this triangle, so used to the square language, but this triangle, this motif, 
you could keep going and make it really big um, and do a blanket of just a few of these. But this blanket, I think it had a pretty huge number of triangles, if I remember correctly. It was like 84 of um, two of the colors and then like 60 or 56 or something of the other two. When we get to, I'm sorry, the last color. So it was 84 of one, 84 of the other. Yes. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. 84 of one color, 56 of another color, and 56 of the third color. So if you um, get your calculator out, I don't do math in my head, <laughs> um, in public, 56 plus 56 is what? 112 plus 84. So that's how many total squares, or I'm sorry, rec <laughs> rectangles, triangles you need for a blanket that will become, how big is this blanket? Uh, 55 inches by 89 inches. It's a very big blanket. So two double crochets, three chains, two double crochets, all in the chain three corner space. And then continue the pattern with beginning with a front post double crochet to start the side. And then alternating with a back post double crochet and front post double crochet. And we are alternating. So 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 fun also if you do just one color you can just take one color with you if you need to travel or um, sit at a doctor's office or sit at a soccer practice you can just assembly line it and just bring one color and one hook with you to do it rather than bringing multiple colors with you wherever you go okay it's just grabbing onto itself it's a little tight in the skein but it is all good now and then you get into a nice relaxing rhythm because crochet is supposed to be a relaxing and valuable use of our time and I think that it is and like I said before if you don't mind hit that like button and subscribe turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss a thing there's a um, live streams that happen on this channel occasionally lots of tutorials on how to design your own and improvise and also, just follow along how to read symbol diagrams, how to read Japanese symbol diagrams, how to Tunisian crochet, how to double-ended crochet. So there's a little bit of everything for everybody on this channel. Please let me know. Please leave me a comment if you'd like to see something specific. Right now, I'm kind of going through my archives of old patterns that have been out of out of publish that, that I know people still really like. So if you happen to... Uh, be on Ravelry, you can see the whole, yeah, pretty good, huge body of my work, about 300 published patterns that are on there. I've published more than that, but there's about 300 of them up on my Ravelry. I'm Ellen Gormley, and my name on Ravelry is Go Crochet. So if you want to go check that out and need some help on any of my patterns, drop me a comment, and I will... Um, Drop me a comment here on YouTube, though, because I don't usually check my Ravelry very often. But leave a comment here on YouTube on one of my videos and tell me what pattern you're interested in or what difficulty you're having. And maybe I can help you by demonstrating the tricky parts of whatever it is that you are finding tricky. All right. Two double crochets, chain three and two double crochets. Now we will finish this row differently than we have the other one, so heads up. So we started in the middle of the row over here, middle of the round, I should say, on the middle of the side, and so we just need to finish. And so remember, we are doing a front post double crochet for the first, side, first stitch and a back post double crochet for the second. We will continue this for a total of five rounds, and that completes the triangle. Then when you have all the triangles made, so we have done three together, okay? But we'll do two more exactly like that with starting each uh, side with a front post, then doing a double, uh, double back post. And it's very similar on the front and the back. On multicolor, you're gonna have some ends, but with all one color, you're not gonna have any ends. So once you have all of your rectangles, that's when the magic happens and you'll be laying them out and putting them in the right configuration and crocheting them together with the um, wrong side or the wrong sides facing each other so that the seams are just single crochets through the back loops only to create this seam on the surface 
to make these cool graphic diagonals that hold it all together. I really like how the holes of the chain three corner spaces, these holes here, become a design element in themselves. Like you can see the, let's see, is this one? This one you can really see. The holes line up to create this almost like a poinsettia, uh, poinsettia shape here. So a triangle is here. Okay, do you see it? Here's another triangle. But when you put them all together, it creates an optical illusion. So I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Please uh, like and subscribe, continue watching, watch the um, ads when you can because it helps me out. I really appreciate it. And um, that is all for today. I hope you've loved this triangle presentation and I will see you on the next video.